Hi there, and once again, welcome back to Weekly Leadership Vaccination from MLO. My name is Fran, and this week we come to the letter N, another very powerful metaphor. No show. Do you know what? who is a no show? It's a person who is expected to come, but he or she does not appear or arrive. And I'm not talking about not going to the theater or movies or some party. I'm talking about appearing at your life challenges. You know who is always a yes show? Animals are yes show. They don't question their ability to go hunt for the food or graze the grass. If you have seen our personal leadership videos, you know that one we filmed in an ancient Roman arena. And I was talking about that arena when, where you will celebrate the successes in your life. And we were talking about that you want you have your people dear to you there. But imagine this. I know you have latent abilities. I know if you want something so clearly and if you work to achieve it, you will get it there. And somewhere down the road, there is your Roma arena where you will celebrate your life successes. But what if you don't show? What is opportunity cost of not showing? The question is here, where are the roots of such behavior? I know a lot about no, about no showing, because I am the kind of a person that will choose not to show when challenges get tough. But with each step of personal development, I make myself make additional step and just push myself outside of my comfort zone. We said it so many times, and we are going to say it so many times in this year, don't steal from yourself. Because self-discipline here in no show is very important. You have to understand why you don't want to show there. Why don't you want to face the challenges and then do your best? And it doesn't matter what the outcome would be. Because if you do your best, if you push yourself to your farthest limit, you will be successful. And then the next time you will be able to show. Here we talk about being stressed out. And here we talk about coming out of the comfort zone. Of course, it's difficult, but you have to show up. I want to talk here about the guardian angel, but I wouldn't call it guardian here. I would call it the whipping angel. Our guardian angel can take a whip and then make sure that the pain of not showing will be greater than the pleasure of just staying home, staying in your little cage and not taking risk. There are additional two reasons why we shouldn't be no-shows. Number one, because if we pray for something, we're not going to get it. We are going to get an opportunity. And how we're going to seize these opportunities if we are no-show? The other one is very simple. It will all turn out well. Thank you.